hands. Then you spread the mustard, just like you're doing with your damn paint there, English mustard. The hand in waistcoat, a common and fashionable pose during the 18th and 19th centuries. It's a pose shown in some movies, but most frequently found in portraits of important military leaders or statesmen. Was this pose just an easy way to keep hands from wandering during speeches or portraits? Or was there more to it? And uh, I'm not sure what to do with my hands. The pose is most associated with Napoleon Bonaparte, who had several portraits made while holding this gesture. The pose was fashionable at the time and did and still does command an appearance of stateliness, a calm and firm demeanor. Like most fashion, it's hard to specifically pinpoint any one origin for the pose. There are many theories on the use of the pose, such as a secret Masonic meaning. A common theory associated with Napoleon was that he was clutching a painful stomach ulcer. There is evidence he may have had stomach cancer later in life. Then there's Red Bull's theory as to the pose. Another theory was that it was easier for some artists not to have to paint hands, which was an accusation against one painter, Thomas Hudson, who routinely painted men as such. But with the advent of photography in the 19th century, the trend continued. Shall we proceed? All right, gentlemen. One, two, three. The most likely origin of the pose was that it came about during a resurgence of classical culture. Eschines was a Greek statesman, a great orator, and founder of a rhetoric school, which taught skills in being stately and having a persuasive presence when speaking. Eschines believed one key to being an effective speaker was to not gesticulate, believing words had more power and meaning if hands were left inside one's tunic. He had a strong following, and many social circles in the ancient world believed talking while waving one's hands around was rude or hostile. Excuse me, I'd forgot you. The pose was trendy throughout Europe during the 18th and 19th centuries, with each individual and nation having its own interpretation of the pose, but generally it was always a pose of dignity, associated with the elite, which was rather convenient for anyone missing an arm, most famously British Admiral Lord Nelson. Though there were no etiquette or social rules for the pose, figures such as Karl Marx show the varied use of the pose by men of different ideologies. The pose was also widely popular in America. Civil War officers and generals were known to strike the pose, as did George Washington. The pose slowly faded away in the 20th century, but never completely died. It's still a way to keep a hand warm, hold a wallet close, or I like Pedro Pascal's reasoning myself. Oh, what? Well, look it on your left. All right, I'm Johnny. Thanks for watching my first ever video done on a pose. I hope you found it interesting. Take care, and we'll see you next time.